This is lake country in a small boater's paradise. Nine connecting lakes will be the center of your adventures at Channel Lakes. Paddle through the chain of serene kettle lakes. Hike to 23 miles of forested trails. Fish the electric motors only lakes. Stay overnight in a hillside family cabin. Visit the park's historic one room schoolhouse or explore the nature center. Other facilities available for visitors to enjoy include a campground, beach, and picnic shelters. One of the most interesting features at Channel Lakes is its shape, about two miles wide and four miles long. Within its boundaries are 2,718 acres, including 212 surface acres of water and more than seven miles of varying shoreline. The park owes much of its surface form and geological makeup to the action of glaciers during the Ice Age. The effects of the most recent major ice advance, the continental glacier of the Wisconsin Age, are evident. The steeply rolling hills, bogs, and interconnecting lakes bear witness to the massive ice sheets that advanced over and then melted from this part of the Midwest near the end of the Ice Age between 19,000 and 16,000 years ago. The lakes in this chain of are kettle lakes, formed when the glaciers were still huge blocks of ice. Rivers of water resulting from melting ice carved the channels, which connected nine of the 13 lakes in the park. The 732-acre Glacier Esker Nature Preserve was dedicated in 2012 to protect the glacial features in this park. An esker is a long winding ridge of stratified sand and gravel in uniform shape that was deposited under a glacier. There was a tunnel connecting the melt water out of the glacier, and as the melt water flow waned it deposited the esker. This esker is considered the best example of the geological feature in the state. Before its sediment by pioneers, the area was inhabited by Native Americans. A village of about 30 bark wigwams was located on the north shore of what was once called Indian Lake. William Bullen was one of the first settlers in this area in the 1830s. In 1840, he constructed a home on the north shore of the lake, which eventually became known as Bullen Lake. One of the unique buildings in the park is restored one-room Stanley Schoolhouse. The current building was constructed in 1915 and was the fourth school in the same location since 1848. In Indiana, schools were originally placed in the center of four sections within a township. The idea was to prevent children from having to walk more than two miles to get to school. As school systems developed and consolidated, the schoolhouse went from serving grades one through eight to serving grades four through six. The 1954 public school year was its last. The Department of Conservation, the precursor of the Department of Natural Resources, recommended the natural lake area located in Noble County's Green Township as a future state park site. A year later, the Indiana General Assembly supported the process of land acquisition and park development. With the backing of the commissioners of Noble, Whitley, and Allen Counties, a joint county park board purchased 1,200 acres for the project, while the state acquired about 300 additional acres. The park was dedicated on June 12, 1960. When Channel Lake State Park was being established in the 1950s, the area was populated by farms, mostly orchards and pastures, and families with lake cabins. Today, there are 18 modern cabins in a 413 site shaded campground with electrical service. I hope you come and visit my favorite place to go, and that place is Channel Lake State Park.